cares? Go Canada. Yes, uh, oh. <laughs> <Bing, bing. laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hello. Hello.
guys. Welcome to Kosice on day three of the World Hockey Championship. There is Brett Perlini from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. His dad, Fred Perlini, is a legend in British hockey. The referees are from Finland and the United States. And what a couple of weeks this is for the players from Great Britain. who have qualified for the top group for the first time since 1994. Peter Russell's team lost 3-1 to Germany. It's opener. They were 1-1 in the third period. They came back to tie that game, gave up a couple quick goals to the Germans. Russell say before the game, why wouldn't you be thrilled with this? Alain Vigneault, in his first time coaching the Canadian men's national team, saw them lose their opener 3-1 to to Finland. Great Britain has climbed a long way to get here two years ago in Division 1B against the likes of Croatia, Estonia, Japan, Lithuania, and the Netherlands. Won Division 1A last year in dramatic fashion. They came back to tie Hungary with 15 seconds to go in the last game. Went to overtime, and that point got them into the top level. Ben Bounds was the hero last year of that tournament. Went 3-1 and one at a C percentage of 919. Stopped two penalty shots in that tournament as well, including one in the final game. And Carter Hart, the 20-year-old from Sherwood Park, Alberta, gets the start for Canada. Terrific rookie year for the Philadelphia Flyers in his first pro year. And Perlini faces off against Kyle Turris and dumps the Canadian captain. In comes Ollie Betridge with a big chance there, blocked by Jared McCann, who lost his stick. McCann got a new stick, moves in quickly, pokes that across. Torres walks in and shoots, and Bounds knocked that away. Oh, what a nice play from the trainer. He's got the stick waiting over the boards. McCann was able to jump into the rush. Now Mantha. Anthony Mantha feeds that across to Darnell Nurse, winds and shoots, pounds a save, rebound loose in front, bounds, makes a stop on that. And Turris picks up the loose puck. Great Britain has a large group of supporters here. McCann plays that back to center ice. Bounds plays for Cardiff in the Elite International League, as it's known in Great Britain. Cardiff won the playoffs, but the regular season title, which is considered more prestigious, went to the Belfast Giants. And much like English soccer, the regular season title is considered the championship in that league. A viewpoint, by the way, that the Tampa Bay Lightning endorse heartily. Yes, they do. And here is Robert Dow, the 30-year-old, who told us on Friday, I'll tell my grandchildren I played against these guys. I watch them on TV all the time. Saw it from Korea last year, Hungary two years ago. Regardless of the result, getting here is an absolute triumph for these players. And as you outlined, the way they got here was just incredible. They were down 2 nothing with nine minutes left in that game to Hungary. Somehow, were able to tie it and send it to overtime. Anthony certainly drops it back. Sam Reinhardt chopped that wide. And then, after scoring the tying goal with 15 seconds left, gave up a breakaway off the next face-off, and Bounds had to stop that. 
They don't run great analytics in that tournament either. They got outshot four of the five games, yet went 4-0-1 in the whole deal. It's an incredible run for them, good for them, and it's, as you said, Gord, this is quite a thrill for them to be on the ice against Team Canada. This tournament will get long for them, though. The depth of their players, how hard they have to work to hang in. Fires a lead pass, and that pass just missed Luke Ferreira, who's streaking in. But they will be a much more physical team than some of the other teams that are towards the bottom of the pack. In comes Nurse, winds and shoots it in a leg, rebound loose in front, score! Matthew Joseph taps it in, and Canada grabs the early lead. First two minutes and 40 seconds have all been where we're going to see much of the play, and that's Matthew Joseph's rebound. Canada's gotten some extra pucks towards the net, people jamming the front of the net, which is going to be a lot for Great Britain to handle here. Point shot by Darnell Nurse is blocked, but Adam Henrique's shot will deflect off Ben Bounds. Great to Joseph, and Joseph is able to push it into the empty net. The feisty rookie had 13 goals for Tampa Bay this year. Another one of Tampa's draft picks from lower in the draft. The fourth round pick, energetic, physical, a penalty killer and 13 goals on, on the board for Tampa. He's got his first in this tournament. Last play for Canada internationally in the World Junior Championship in 2017. He only scored once. As Mantha comes in, it was what appeared to be a huge goal at the time, gave Canada a 3-1 lead in the third period, but the United States came back and won that game in a shootout. Theodore back across to Severson to Shea Theodore, a long wrist shot, and pinballed around in front, bounds kicked that away. Theodore plays that rink wide. Here's McCann with it. Jared McCann got spun around by Farmer. And back to pick it up is Tim Billingsley, an Ottawa native who was drafted by Phoenix back in 2008. Five of these players for Great Britain were born in Canada, another in the United States. They did not compete internationally for other countries, had a parent or a grandparent from Great Britain, qualifying for a passport, he would play internationally. Lake sends that rink wide for Ben O'Connor. That's pulled free at the side of the goal, and Carter Hart will squeeze that quickly. Jared McCann's had an interesting first couple of minutes in the First shift of the game, he drops a stick. Now he's battling away for the puck as he comes to the bench. He sees the puck go right by him. Oh, thank you very much. Paul Boyer. And now he's going to have a scoring chance out of the play as he's able to find Kyle Turris, who comes late. Turris' shot turned aside by Ben Bounds. Paul Boyer, the longtime equipment man for the Detroit Red Wings. He kept Eisenman, Shanahan, and Fedorov happy all these years. He must have done something right. Brett Hull. Yes. It's a pretty demanding group. Playing across to Favreau. Dante Favreau moves in and stop. And Favreau back on it, plays it down to Couturier. Sean Couturier feeds back. That's knocked away by Robert Lakowitz. Oh, and that lead pass just missed Ben Davy. He was gone. That was a breakaway if that pass is on. Vast majority of these players for Great Britain are from England. An oddity in international sport that in cricket, rugby, and soccer will compete for England, Scotland, and Wales. But here they're combined as Great Britain and the Olympics as well as Hart makes that stop. On Liam Kirk, who plays for Peterborough in the Ontario League and had a good year for them in his first year in North America. Scored 26 goals in 63 games. Raised and played in the United Kingdom and drafted in the seventh round by Arizona in 2018. Energetic and feisty, and as you mentioned, Gordon, 26 goal season this year. Nurse feeds across to Severson, that bounced away. Joseph has it back. So, this is Great Britain, which joined the IHF in its founding year as Great Britain. And as a result, continues to compete that way, as does Great Britain at the Olympic Games. Brought 
back for Tyson Jost, and Jost just off a of plane into the lineup gets a shot away. Jost, a late addition to the Canadian lineup along with Pierre Luc Dubois. He literally is off the plane and into the into the lineup. I guess a little easier than Kyle Turris last year when Turris showed up. He didn't have any gear. Centering pass by Turris. Remember he had to wear somebody else's skates yeah. the first game, which couldn't have been too comfortable. He actually played pretty well. Shabbat across the Troy Stetcher back to Shabbat. Lead pass to Anthony Mantha. In comes Mantha. Tiptoes across the line, winds in, pokes it back in front. That was knocked away. And Steve Lee knocked it down. Thomas Shabbat feeds it back to the captain, Kyle Turris. And now a chance for Britain as Robert Farmer brings it ring wide to Dowd. In comes Dowd with a chance. He shot it wide. Almost got to tell his grandkids he scored against Canada. Here's Lake on it. Back for Richardson. That shot blocked by Shabbat. Get one, they're going to explode <laughs> over there. Take a little breather now. 12 25 to go in the opening period. Canada up 1 0. Mark Stone bumped there by David Phillips. Phillips got hooked on hockey. His dad watched Slap Shot and loved it. Started going to games. In England, as that centering pass goes to Marsha, so he just missed. And his son got hooked on the game and started playing. Stroll in and shoots, bounds, makes the stop, still lose. They poke away at it. And Ben Bounds keeps it out. 12 to go here in the opening period. Canada leads Britain. One to nothing. Sorelli plays it back in. Nurse plays it down to Sorelli. Corcaturi shoots from a sharp angle. Bounds makes the stop and hangs on. We mentioned Bounds plays for Cardiff. In the, what used to be known the British Premier League, now the Elite International League. It gets a little tricky because the league champions are from Belfast. Belfast is not in Great Britain. It's part of the UK, though, Northern Ireland's in the UK. But as I mentioned, the vast majority of these players are from England. Theodore plays it back across the centering pass to Joseph, trickle away from him. And Tyson Joseph goes racing back for the loose puck. Plays it across to Theodore. Adam Henrique, a centering pass for Joseph that was broken up by Richardson. Incredible, you know, the some of the teams, uh, 
to get basically into the elevator. They're up and down between the right. first and the second division of this World Championships, but they didn't even have that hope a few years ago. No, like we said, they, they were two rungs down the ladder two years ago. This is, so they, these guys that have played in 10 and 11 World Championships way down the ladder couldn't even have really dreamed of this. Six of these players have been with the British national team for more than 10 years. That's a long time in Division One B and a lot of tournaments you don't hear about in places you have probably not heard of either. British hockey, though, is quite popular at the pro level. They struggled at the World Junior and Under-18 level. They got promoted from the fifth division to the fourth in the Under-18s. They're currently three levels down at the World Junior level, so. But the hope here is, and Peter Russell talked about this, the head coach the other day, that this group of players who made such big news for qualifying for this, when they retire, they'll spread out, they'll coach around Britain, they'll spread the word, they'll teach young players. You got a kid like Liam Kirk, who's just 19 years of age, playing in Peterborough. Stetcher across to Shabbat. Shoots and bounds, leans across and makes a stop on that. In the last 10 years, Ben Bounds has played 515 games, averaged 51 games a season in a very physical league. When you talk to the people that are over there a lot, it's not it's not all finesse and dancing around. Nick, remember the lockout year in 0405, Nick Boynton went over and played for Nottingham in that league. The biggest thing he learned, two things he said. It's a pretty rough and tumble league, and two, never live above a bowling alley. Marks so. Back receivers in that long shot stop by bound. 9.54 to go here. Canada leads 1-0. Championship. Jonathan Marshall so back at the point, slides out ahead, fed back in front for Stone. That just missed. And now Marshall so holds the line again. Pivots around for Nurse. Darnell Nurse back across for Severson, feeds it back in front. Marshall so couldn't pull the trigger. Marshall so bumps into Farmer, plays it back to Nurse. And now Severson shoots, bounce, makes the stop for the back half of the pad, and hangs on. 11 shots in just under 11 minutes for Ben Bounds as Canada has had the puck in the offensive zone much of the game. One thing that has changed over the last four or five years, forwards are more comfortable higher in the zone offensively. So you get a forward way out by the top of the blue line. We never wanted to go out there when I played. You wanted to compact everything down deep. But now they'll come out, they get lost like Marchessault did. It's hard for anybody to cover them. You have to be gutsy enough to get out, knowing that if you get too tight, he's going right past you the other way. Theodore plays it across to Favreau. Dante Favreau back to Theodore. In the corner it goes to Reinhardt, who whistled that wide. Now moved out by Ben Link. Calgary native. Across to Hammond. And Mike Hammond, who scored the tying goal against Germany in the third period, plays that in deep. Sean Couturier. That's not 
picked up by Lee. Fabro. Comes it back to Theodore. And in comes Shea Theodore across the line. Shoots and bounds, makes the stop. The rebound cleaned up and fired down the ice. By Evan Mosey, that'll be icing against Great Britain. Now it's the same result. Mosey iced the puck. He could have just tapped it back to his goaltender. The difference is you would have been able to make a change. Pete Russell could have changed his players. Now you got tired guys on the ice. The assistant coach on the right is Adam Keith. His brother, Shelvin, is the head coach of the Toronto Marlies of the American Hockey League and is widely talked about as a potential NHL coaching candidate. It seems like it's a, a matter of when, not if. Now a centering pass for Bertuzzi with a quick shot. Bounds the save and picked out by Joseph. Matthew Joseph flips that back to Tyler Bertuzzi. Across to Thomas Shabbat. We talk all the time about the winding road of hockey to different paths. Adam Keith could never imagine when he went over to play in Britain that he'd ever wind up coaching and making that his full time profession. By the way, these, these players are all full time players. You can make a full time living playing in the British League. We had the, the French in the early game. We talked about their longtime coach, who's now retired, Dave Henderson. He went over as a young man to play and never left. Never left. Retired, now living in the north of France and sipping wine and eating grapes. World of hockey it can be a, a pretty cool place. It's not going to end up in the place you might dream about to start, but man, what a life experience and you get to play for it. Long time. Here's McCann pokes that in center to score. Anthony Mantha on the feed from McCann. And Canada takes a 2 0 lead. What a great rush from Anthony Mantha. Or rather from Jared McCann. Mantha comes right into the slot and hammers it home from about 10 feet in front of Great Britain's goal. McCann is going to get the puck here and go all the way across the ice. Nobody impedes him, so he's not a doesn't have to change stride. He gets thumped behind the net. But as he goes behind the net, the British defense looks back behind them. And nobody's got Anthony Mantha. And Mantha, with 25 goals for Detroit this year, puts aside a beautiful feed from Jared McCann. And Canada's up 2-0. You know, it's funny when you think about it. You look at Anthony Mantha now. We saw him at the 2014 World Junior Championship in Sweden. He was a tall, gangly kid then. Look at him now. A big, thick 24 year old who scored 25 goals this year despite missing 15 games with a broken hand. Luke Ferrara plays that back. And Ben O'Connor, the longtime veteran of this national team who played in the Ontario League for a couple of years, throws it back in deep. Centering pass for Kirk, that bounced away. Marcheseau has it back for Canada. Marcheseau one on one with David Phillips. Missed stone with that pass, and now Ferrara has it back. Strom ahead for Stone. Mark Stone drops it back. Dylan Strom in, shoots. That was blocked by Phillips. And Strom has it back. For Montour to Marcheseau. Now play back for Montour. Works it in, shoots, bounds the save. And a penalty coming out of Britain. As Robert Farmer touches up, and we've got a tangle in the corner. Marcheseau is into it with Colin Shields and David Phillips. The original Maybe. penalty is on Great Britain. Maybe Phillips watched a little too much slap shot with his dad. Well, there's the hold as he wraps up Marcia, so and then it turns into a wrestling match down on the ice. When you're wrestling away, the ref is telling you enough. You're not stopping because he's telling you to stop. I mean, until somebody gets in there, you're on the bottom there, you're swinging away trying to get out. It's nice he wants you to stop, but the other guy's not stopping either. Here's Banth on the power play. Back for Couturier to Theodore. Severson to Theodore. Tees it up for Manth, the cross-ice pass. Severson sends it back. Bounds makes the stop. And now teed up by Manth, that deflects wide. 
Shots are 14 to 2 in favor of Canada. Get a 2 0 lead. And the Brits clear it back down. Shane Theodore back for Sean Couturier. Up for Ryan Hart. Couturier plays it back for Mantha. And Theodore can't hold the line. And it was one for one on the power play against the Finns. Marshall scored the goal. Reinhardt moves in and shoots short side. And Bounds makes the save and is able to hang on. Sam Reinhardt looks to pass and all of a sudden he's got a clean length of the net. The bounce stays up, holds his ground pretty well. And Reinhardt's shot choice is turned aside. Drafted as a centerman, seems to have found his home on the wing in Buffalo. 65 points this past year. Back across to Marcheseau. Now the centering pass by Strom was knocked away. Hart goes back to pick it up. 45 seconds to go on the Canadian power play, 5.15 to go in the period. Strom almost misfired there, gets it back. Drops it off to Marcheseau. Feeds it across to Stone. Now Stone. Plays that down to Strom across to Marcheseau. To the goal off to Strom. Feeds it back across. Stone fired it. That was blocked. And now Marcheseau has it back. 15 seconds to go on the power play. Shabbat to Marcheseau winding in. Centers it. And a hard shot by Torres is stopped by Bound. Final second of the power play, marches so. Around the puck as Phillips steps back on. Centering pass, and that Turris just missed. Bouncing puck at the, behind the goal now. Marches so trying to pick it up, and it's stuck on the back of the net. You're watching the 2019 World Hockey Championship from Kosice, Slovakia. goals the last three years. Fabro along wrist shot that's knocked away by Bound. Would have certainly been on the cusp of 30 this year without break, breaking his hand basically in a fight in December. He fought Patrick Nemeth from Dallas. There's Sorelli with it now for Jost. And Sorelli comes back in. Jost tries to poke kick that free against Sorelli. Back to Severson. Across to Sorelli, lays that in deep for Joseph, who's being watched there by Mike Hammond. Hammond played four years in the BC Junior League. Won the Brett Hull Trophy as the top scorer in the league with 93 points in 57 games. You led that league in scoring once, didn't you? Uh, it was before Brett. So it was the Ray Ferraro Trophy? Didn't it? No, no. It's like a lot of my career. Nobody noticed, and then they went on to somebody else. <laughs> No, I had uh, 65 goals in 48 games, and then Brett came and scored 300. Well, no, I think he had 81 or two, which is just 48 games. And Penticton was an awesome place to play where I played and, and where Brett played. 
Ticton Bees, a legendary BCHL franchise. Billings, he looks ahead. In comes Perlini with it now. He shoots, and Hart knocked that away. Tyler Bertuzzi. Nephew of Todd Bertuzzi. Bethridge fired that wide. Lakowitz. Back at the point, plays that around inside three to go here in the period. Here's Nurse with it. Looks up high in the air and keeps it in the rink. Lee looks ahead and it's a shot from Jonathan Phillips goes wide. The two Phillips are not related. Jonathan Phillips, the captain of this team, is in his 16th year with the national team and tipped that just wide. Imagine those 16 years in the places he's seen. Now loose behind the goal. The centering pass knocked away. Davies was poke checked there by Shabbat. Knocked out by Couturier for Sorelli. Leaves it back for Couturier. Sean Couturier. Centering pass was knocked down. Davies has it back. Shabbat ahead to Couturier. Finds his way in, drops it back to McCann. In comes Jared McCann. Thanks the puck back at the point. Nurse shoots, tipped, and bounds. Makes a good save on the deflection by Sam Reinhardt. He almost moved a little bit too much to the right as he is facing up to Darnell Nurse's slapper. It's tipped about 15 or 18 feet in front of the net. Downs is able to get a handle on it. Man, McCann's been all over the place in this first period. One of the things Sam Reinhardt's always been good at and worked a little harder at as he's gotten to the NHL level is deflecting the puck. He moves his feet well around the tight spot in front of the net. As he moved from center to the wing, he gets himself tighter to the net more frequently, and a lot of his goals come either on a second chance, a deflection, something that he can redirect around the front of the net. Van Lake. Leaves it there for Hammond. Centering pass goes to Phillips. And David Phillips taken down there by McCann. And Great Britain's going to go on the power play here. Touched up by Turris. And with 1.13 to go in the first, Britain gets the power play. Good work as they cycle the puck around. And as Phillips makes the move, the stick of McCann gets into his feet. Down he goes, and Great Britain will get their first power play of this game. They were 0 for 1 in their 3 1 loss against Germany. Last time Britain played the top division was 1994. The Brits went 0 and 6, outscored 49 to 9. Here in Milan, that Canada ended its 33 year gold medal drought of the World Championship. Time winding down here in the period, brought out by Ben O'Connor. Another veteran of the national team in his ninth year with him. Lead pass goes to Perlini. Back at the point is O'Connor. Beats it across to Hammond. It's hot wide by Ferrara. And Ferrara trying to knock that down. Perini comes in. Kick free by Stetcher. And Sorelli gets free for Canada. Flips on head for Joseph. In comes Matthew Joseph, shorthanded. Centering pass, Montour in and bounds. Makes the stop on that rolling puck and hangs on with nine seconds to go. Matthew Joseph had the game's first goal. We talked earlier about how he's penalty killed, worked a, as a fourth rounder into a solid role in Tampa. He can skate. So he gets out, he's clean. Robert Farmer clears the lane out. So Joseph has to pull up. He looks for Montador. Or looks across for Montour, not able to, to get the puck, and he chips it towards the net. Stop by bounce. Here comes Couturier the other way. Three on one, short handed. That pass tipped away. Great defensive play by Dowd at the horn. To potentially save a goal there. <laughs> 22 to 4. The shots on goal for Canada. 
a 2 nothing lead after the opening 20 minutes. Our first intermission coming up from the 2019 World Championship.
Joseph Anthony Mantha have the Canadian goals. Ben Bounds was under siege in that first period. Stopped 20 of 22 shots he faced. 28 year old from Rotherham, England. Carter Hart faced just four shots in his national team senior debut for Canada. Played two World Juniors, won gold in 2018. An amazing start when he was called up this year in Philadelphia. Was injured and Jared McCann's got 48 seconds to serve in his penalty as Great Britain starts the second of the power play. Pass picked off by Severson, finds Henry. Canada had a three on one shorthanded right at the horn at the end of the first period. Arnell Nurse gains a line and fires that around. Back to pick it up as O'Connor. Ben O'Connor. Up for Perlini. Finds Farmer. That's knocked down by Montour. Hammond. Plays it back in deep for his Montour. Around for Couturier. Ten seconds to go on the McCann penalty. O'Connor knocks it down at center ice. Big Ben, as he's known. For his club team in Sheffield. What else would you call a guy? And ben O'Connor. Back at the point. A hard shot taken there by Evan Mosey. That just missed. Severson ahead to Montour. Teams are back to five on five. In comes Sorelli. Anthony Sorelli drops it back. And a hard shot by McCann. Turn away by Bounds. Sorelli at the point for Stetcher. Back to Sorelli. Shoots. Bounds makes the save and swats away the rebound. Hope free by McCann. His centering pass just missed Joseph. And it's played out by Lakowitz. Marcia so centers it. Just missed Strom with that pass. Canada back in action tomorrow against the host Slovaks. Should see Pierre Luc Dubois in the Canadian lineup. Tyson Joseph arrived here. Joseph in the lineup today. Slovaks one and one. Played two really good games. Long shot taken there by Steve Lee. Deflects up and out of play. Lee wearing some facial protection after taking a puck in the face. Point shot. Jonathan Phillips gets a stick on it. About shoulder high. He tips it. It just deflects off the top of the crossbar. Phillips' eighth year as the team captain. You mentioned earlier, Gord, 16 world championships he's been to. 
first one at the top level. First time in 25 years that Britain's been at the top level. Just the third time since 1951, although Britain didn't qualify for the 92 Olympics in Alberville. Hammond fires it in. And Carter Hart leaves it there for Shabbat. Joe's up ahead for Turris. He finds Mantha centering back for Turris. Moves into backhand shot, scores! Kyle Turris roofs it, and it's 3 nothing Canada. Canada takes advantage of Tim Billingsley, the defenseman who blows a shoe out at center ice. Right here as he pivots, he loses his footing. Turris heads to the net. That's a really nice pass from Anthony Mantha. The new age power forward is a big man, a powerful player with good hands. Not so much that he has to bowl his way around the ice. Mantha can do that too, but we saw earlier he can really shoot the puck. He scored on the pass from McCann. And here a sweet little dish to Kyle Turris. And the Canadian captain deeks bounds and puts it up into the top of the net. And that'll feel good for Turris. Seven goals this past season in 55 games. Just a, turned into a lost year for him. He started poorly. He got hurt. He wasn't able to really find any semblance of momentum to his season. And there a nice catch and deep on the Mantha pass. It's a great pass from Mantha. Look how flat it is. It's laid out in front of him. And Turris makes no mistake. Turris now has five goals for Canada in 14 games. There's Peter Russell diagramming on the bench. The players were telling us the other day that Russell, who's a former goaltender, he's from Scotland, has a really thick Glasgow bro and speaks really quickly. And some of the guys are saying, we only pick up like every third word he says. Very fiery, really emotional talked about the honor of being here, but talked to his players about living in the moment and playing in the moment. Don't just be glad to be here. Do something while you're here. Sorelli feeds it back for Nurse. And you mentioned, Ray, they were good against Germany the other night. They were down 1-0 late in the it? second period, then they tied it up in the third. Yeah, they gave up the goal with about 30 seconds left in the second period, and then gave up the two quick ones in the third period. They weren't able to recover from them. A pretty solid effort against the German team that's now 2-0 after their 2-1 win today. Long shot by Nurse to flex high and wide. Severson steps up for Canada. Now Billingsley has it back. Billingsley was a seventh round pick of Phoenix. We mentioned went on to the OHL to play for Carleton University for four years. Back to pick it up. Shots are 25 to 4 in favor of Canada. Kicked in by Joseph. He bounds out to play that. Myers picks it up. It's bumped there by Joseph. And Liam Kirk has it back. The ninth overall pick in the CHL import draft by the Peterborough Peets. Twice the captain of the British national under-18 team. Arizona was really happy with his progress this year in his first year over in North America. That under-18 team, by the way, is coached by Tony Hand. Loose puck in front for Stone. A strong back for Stone. That was blocked. A great diving play there by David Phillips. Saved a goal. Tony Hand was a legendary Scottish player who actually Landed a trial with the Edmonton Oilers in the 1980s, and they offered him a spot in the American League, but he elected to go home in a long career there. Was inducted to the IHF Hall of Fame a couple of years ago. Here's Dowd back with it. Plays it across for Earhart. Dallas Earhart, a Calgary native. Up and hit for Hammond, and the play's offside at the Canadian line. The 
there's that chance in front of the net, a couple of passes. I thought Strom was going to shoot it here, but he wants to go back across the seam. And it's blocked by David Phillips. Mark Stone knocks, has the chance, the one-timer. The puck is deflected back towards him and out of the net. Stone had an assist in that first game, set up Marshall so on the power play. A long shot, and the stop is made by Carter Hart. Lake played in the Alberta Junior Hockey League, then four years at Sacred Heart College in Connecticut. Spent a couple years in the ECHL. There's a look at David Phillips, who bounced around North America for a couple years. He saw a lot of cities, primarily Rockford in the American League. So the Chicago Blackhawks were very good to him when he played there. Five teams in two years in four states. Petridge works his way ahead and on Shabbat. Sharp angle knocked away by Hart. The centering pass broken up by McCann. Jared McCann, lead pass, finds Mant, then rolls off his stick when they call the play offside. At the British line. McCann and Manta have been all over it today. Manta took a McCann pass to score to make it 2-0. Here's the play. McCann rushes up the right side, throws it out the short side to Manta. That was in the first period. And here in the first third of the second period, Kyle Turris takes that nice little pass from Anthony Manta to put it away. Richardson fires that wide. Picked up by Joe. Great wide he goes for Reinhardt. Got buried there by Lankowitz. We've got a penalty coming. Lankowitz is going to go off for boarding. And so Canada will go to the power play when we come back. Which is off for boarding for Great Britain, which carries with it a 10 minute misconduct. And it's okay to on the power play. Stone. Stone. The Stone. Shabbat. And now Stone down to Stone, back across Marshall. So shoots, bounce, makes the stop. Marshall. So. Plays it back to Shabbat along wrist shot. That's knocked down. Here's Marchiso. Works in. Feet down to Strom. Back to Marchiso. To Shabbat. Stone. Marchiso in. Shoots. That was blocked by Lee. Stone. Back to Shabbat. In for Marchiso. Shoots. The goal post. Rebound loose in front. Strom pokes it. It's in. A power play goal for Canada on a scramble in behind Ben Bounds. And it's 4 0. Bounds thought he had this. It went right past his glove. And looks like Strobe's the first one to it. Canada wins the draw, and then they keep the puck in the zone. Marshall's so shot. Goes through Bounds, hits the goal post, and two whacks at it. And Dylan Strom's got his first of the tournament, a 20-goal year this year after he was traded 
Strom took off in Chicago. He had 51 points in the 58 games he played for the Blackhawks. They reunited him with his junior line mate, Alex Dabrinkit from Erie, and they just took off together. Doesn't like the call. Doesn't like the goal. A 4 0 lead, 12 48 to go in the second period. Still no score of Bratislav in the second period between Latvia and Switzerland. And comes Lake with it now. Off that off. Now Lake loose in the corner. Lead pass finds Joseph. He's got Joseph with him. Joseph in, shoots, and bounds. Gets a piece of that. Knocks it up and out of play. Good pass from Dante Favreau across the ice. Got Joseph in full stride. He was able to get down the right wing and look for his second of the night. behind the Canadian bench will coach his fourth NHL team this fall when he takes over the Philadelphia Flyers. He's had some staying power everywhere he's been. Montreal, Vancouver, New York Rangers. That drops down to Tyler Bertuzzi. And Swimblehurst takes that away from Mantha. Up by Myers. He finds Kurt. And back goes Shabbat for it. Stetcher. Up ahead for Sorelli. Drops it back. Stetcher shoots, bounds to say rebound. Loose in front of Bertuzzi. Couldn't reach it. At the point held by Stetcher. Lays it back in deep for Bertuzzi. Sorelli. Back to Bertuzzi. Puck goes back in front. Picked up by Davies. Chip back down to the Canadian zone, and Shabbat goes back to pick it up. Strick is a can to pick it up, finds Reinhardt. Feeds it back to Nurse along, shot and bounds, makes the stop. Tyler Bertuzzi had a terrific year in Detroit. As well this year, his first 20 goal season. One of the young players coming of age in Detroit, and his man to chip the puck towards him. It's a, a puck that ping ponged around a little bit. I don't think Bertuzzi really caught up to it. He whiffed on it with an open net in front of him. Bertuzzi playing for Canada for the first time at any level. Cross it goes to Severson. It shoots and bounds, leaning with this tough on that. Not a save out of the manual, but kept the puck out of the net. Now McCann, Severson in, fires again at the goal post. Okay, three times got to be the charm here, right? Same play twice in a row. There's a cross to Severson. Reinhardt had it taken away. Picked up now by Bedridge. By Reinhardt, back to the middle, goes for Nurse, drops it back. McCann works in for the trailer. Reinhardt in, shoots, that's blocked. Loose in front, picked up by O'Connor. David Phillips. And pass misfired for Evan Mosey, icing waved off. And Nurse has it back. Marcheseau rips that pass, rink wide for Stone, drops it off for Montour, back to Stone. To Strom in the high slot, feeds it back in. Stone takes a crack at it. Earhart knocks it down for Britt. Theodore across the Montour. Brandon Montour feeds that back for Shea Theodore. He's tripping the chance now for Robert Dowd. And Theodore ranged back on him to take it away. Theodore up ahead for Stone. Drops it off to Marcheseau. Swings that rink wide to Montour. In for Stone. Back at the point is Montour. And the changing now is Theodore. Swings that in deep. In 
comes Mantha for Marcheseau. Marcheseau picks it free. The centering pass was broken up. As Billings going to stick on that, but the Brits can't clear it out. Finally picked up and moved ahead by Dow. Turris up ahead for Jost. Tyson Jost winds in, shoots. That's blocked by Lee. Back down to Manta. Anthony Manta goes back to Fabro. Dante Fabro. Poke check there by Lake, but keeps the puck alive in for Turris. Kyle Turris. Poke free. Jost back with it. Stetcher to Fabro. Fabro ring wide. Hard shot by Manta. That was stopped by Bounds. Now Manta back with it. Long time in the offensive zone here for Team Canada. Manta plays it back to Fabro. A long shot that was blocked in front by Lee. And banked down the ice. And this is a tough icing call for Great Britain. Players trapped on the ice now exhausted as Lake sent that down. Last shift on the ice, Damon Severson had a couple of really great scoring chances. They're both on the same play. Backdoor, Great Britain, way committed to the one side. Severson's second one is off the goal post. The first one was the barrel roll save that Bounds made. Looked a little bit like Curtis Joseph back in the day. That shot from Shabbat goes wide. The line held by Severson. Feeds back in for Joseph across to Shabbat. Severson winds it down to Joseph. Feeds it back to Severson. Henrique, these Great Britain players exhausted now. Henrique lands it in deep for Bertuzzi. Shabbat feeds it back to Severson. Now Shabbat goes back to Joseph. Down low to Bertuzzi. He gets loose behind the goal. Centering pass knocked away from Henrique by Richardson. Joseph, back to Shabbat. This is going to be a goal or a penalty. Henrique winds it and shoots. That goes wide. Brent can't get to the puck. Joseph, back to Shabbat. Long wrist shot, punched out by Bounds. Picked up now by Henrique. Centers it, hard shot by Severson. That's blocked. Ferrara takes a whack at him. And Bertuzzi picks it up. And finally, the Brits knock it out. They'll get three off the ice, but here come the Canadians again. Reinhardt. Centering pass. That deflected just wide. And back goes Shea Theodore for it. And the last two get off the ice. That's an escape. Now that pass misfires. And icing called against Canada. Canada with a like a curtain across the tops of the circle that the puck kept in deep. Nobody able to get to it from Great Britain. And while there wasn't a great many golden chances, it seemed like it was about to break through almost all the time. But Britain hangs on and Canada has to make do with two goals in the first and two goals in the second. Shots are 35 to six. Mosey, a long shot. That was blocked. That broke the stick of McCann. Davies. Worked that free to the front of the net. That's knocked away from Phillips. And McCann, who quickly grabs a new stick. Sees Davies moving and shoot that high and wide. Phillips feeds it across to O'Connor. Now chipped in by Farmer. Now Betridge being harassed there by Stone. And Hart leaves the puck there for Theodore. Marches so. Quickly ahead to Couturier. Sean Couturier moves in. Swimblehurst stayed with him, but Couturier plays it across the stone. Back at the point, Nurse a hard shot that goes high and wide. Now 
Mariners back for the loose puck. Battle back down to the Great Britain zone. Stone, a centering pass. It goes off the skate of Couturier. Inside five to go here in the second period. A lead pass. And Matthew Myers is offside. 4.49 to go in the second. You're watching the 2019 World Hockey Championship. Sicha, Slovakia, Canada, a 4 0 lead on Great Britain in Bratislava, Switzerland. Has a 1 0 lead on Latvia. Gregory Hoffman has the goal for the Swiss. Mantha in and shoots at the flex in front. Earhart knocks it down for Great Britain. Great Britain's win in Division 1A last year knocked Hungary out. Budapest is about a two hour drive from here. So the win in Budapest was enormous for Great Britain and a huge disappointment for Hungary. There's Nurse back for it. Takes the feed from Fabro. Mantha up ahead to Dante Fabro. Feeds it down to Turris. Kyle Turris. Plays it back to Nurse. A hard shot. That deflected and bounds. Saw it go wide. Earhart. Up for O'Connor. Here's Earhart with it. Hart got stymied there. As Jonathan Phillips got in the way. Now Davies tries to center it. That misfired. Fabro. Looks ahead. That was knocked down by O'Connor. Puck the flex. Over the glass and out with 3.32 to go in the second. That last chance here is a forecheck that Hart gets stuck on. I mean, he's had nothing to do for a long time, just six shots in the game. He's not quick to play the puck. And then this shot deflects off a Henrique stick before it's cleared away. Carter Hart, three-time Western Hockey League goaltender of the year. A world junior gold medalist. His first pro year finds himself as a starting goaltender in the second half of the year for the Philadelphia Flyers. Which, in case you haven't heard, is always an easy place to play goal. Well, he's also playing for his new coach right now. As yeah. Alain Vigneault stands behind the bench, he'll see a lot of heart from September. Shabbat. Holds a line for Canada, feeds it down to McCann. And Perlini backhands that up. Brett Perlini's father, Fred Perlini, was a Toronto Maple Leaf draft pick, played briefly for the Maple Leafs, then went over to England and became a legend. His numbers retired in Guildford. His sons were born there. Matthew Joseph across the opportunity with a quick shot that flutters high and wide. Perlini played 11 years there, had over 100 points 10 times. Brendan Perlini is with the Chicago Blackhawks now. Junior Championship a couple years ago. He was part of the Dylan Strome trade when Strome went to Chicago.
comes Stetcher, winds and shoots, and bounds, knocks that away. Stetcher. In the corner for Marcheseau. Back for Theodore, Dylan Strong, to Shea Theodore. Down to Stone, that was knocked away by Kirk. So drops it back to Strome, feeds that back across to Montour. The Fabro along race shot and bounds, makes the save and hangs on. One eighteen to go in the second period. Stone gets a stick on this and bounds has to be sharp to make the stop. Earlier on, it's Bertuzzi on the one-timer. Just fires it up over top of the British net. Bertuzzi's kind of interesting for me offensively. He had 12 and 12 goals in his first two years in the NHL. Split his third-year pro, and then this is fourth-year pro. He gets 21 goals in the NHL. Nothing really told you he was going to be a 20-goal scorer with 12 goals in the American League twice. Kowitz in behind Montour, but that play is called. Offside. A minute to go here in period number two. Canada leads 4 0. Canada leads here. It's 1 1 in Bratislava between Switzerland and Latvia. Face off wasn't done fairly. Kyle Turris having a discussion with the linesman, Gleb Lazara from Russia, who's a longtime IHF linesman. You cinnamon always argue with the linesman. He can't get the puck in the circle. Move it along, would you guys? Here's Favreau with it. Long shot and bounds makes the save. They're never happy with the centerman because we never have our sticks down. Or your feet. Well, you didn't have to worry about the bracket when you played. Because they didn't have them. No. And then basically it was a cheat-a-thon. If you, if you were a young guy taking a face-off against a veteran, they might as well have just thrown it into the corner for the veteran. You didn't have a chance. You stood there like a frozen rope, and they had you turn. And the other guys turned backwards, basically shooting it back to the point. Mantha feeds across to Jost and back to Fabro. Turris centers it. Jost with a quick shot. That was blocked. Jost gets it back. Feeds back to Fabro. Wind and shoot scores. Dante Fabro with a rocket. And Canada has. A 5 nothing lead. We talked earlier about the Penticton V's and their long storied history. Dante Fabro and Tyson Jost were teammates in 2015-16 in Penticton. They both were drafted in the first round off of terrific seasons. Jost went to Colorado, Fabro seven picks later to Nashville, and he rips this past Ben Bounds, who has faced 39 shots. This one beats him clean. 
And Joe's just off the plane, has his first point, and it's 5 nothing. And if Canada gets to six, as we saw earlier in the USA-France game, it becomes trivia time. Are you ready? Oh, I Because you were bragging pretty hard on the one this morning. That was a good one this morning. That was, that was which really French-born player had the most goals in the NHL? It was Paul McLean. But you were you were pretty fired up about that one. This one's equally good. Equally good. And to borrow Maybe a, better. To borrow a line from Gordon Miller, I'll decide if it's equally good. Five nothing Canada leads. We'll sort this out the first intermission, or the second intermission rather. You're watching the World Hockey Championship from Kosice.
inbounds been busy. Faced 40 shots through two periods of play. His backup is Jackson Whistle, by the way, from Kelowna, BC. Played for five years in the Western Hockey League. And Carter Hart, no goals on six shots through two periods. Anthony Mantha, the only one of the 12 Canadians with more than one point. He's got a goal and an assist. A lot of guys on the board today. Canada against the Slovaks tomorrow. Britain will play Denmark on Tuesday. Trying to figure out a way to get a couple of points. Jared McCann fires that back in. There's Mantha with it. A number of these British players, by the way, the veterans are expected to retire from the national team after this tournament. As Nurse shoots at the flex wide. Colin Shields is 39. Big pass for Nurse. Beats it down to Mantha. That puck deflected right down to bound. He kicked that away. Now picked off by Turris, moves in, drops it down. Mantha back for Turris, shoots, scores! Kyle Turris on the feet from Mantha, who's got three points, and it's 6-0 Canada. Some pretty sweet hands on both sides of the equation as Turris and Mantha pitch and catch it back and forth. And Turris is Going to be in a shooting spot, but he goes to Mantha. Mantha holds and goes right back across to Turris. I like Turris's patience as he holds the puck and then rings it off the bar and in. Anthony Mantha and Kyle Turris connect again, and it's 6 0. So a six goal spread, as those of you who follow the World Hockey Championship closely know, means that triggers trivia time. And here is tonight's question. He's kind of sound like a game show host. Yeah, it's good, huh? Is there a parting gift or anything? <laughs> If you promise to leave. <laughs> oh, I, that would be for you. You'd love to take this home. Oh, you? you know what? So here is, here's the question. Who's the all-time leader in NHL goals scored by players born in the United Kingdom? Okay, that seems like I should know that. However, I don't. But it, I should know that. I'm, I'm going to work at this. I'm not going to give up on this one yet. Shabbat plays it back to Stetcher. Thomas Shabbat lays it across to Stetcher. Couturier back to Shabbat. Stetcher. Long shot. That's knocked away. The key is the wording. Yeah. Notice. No, no, no. Notice which I said. I didn't say Great Britain. I said the United Kingdom. Which includes Northern Ireland. one of your hints. That's a hint. This is not where I was thinking. It was the first overall pick in the NHL draft. I'll get it. Phillips fires that wide. Do you want the birthplace? No. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty definitive there. Jay Theodore up ahead for Reinhardt. Sam Reinhardt works it in for Theodore. Back to Reinhardt. On tour. So the question was a trap. Well, because I if, thought you if you would just broadcast the game, and I'll think. Okay. You know, I mean that's the see, way that's see. the way it goes till I tell you it's Owen Nolan. I want to drag this along. Oh, until is that it, right? There you go. Owen Nolan. Nice. So, you just keep continuing on. Congratulations. I, I suspect you got some electronic help here. I'm, I'm suspicious. I have a colored pen in my hand. And a headset to our producer. A big headset, isn't it? Yes, it is. So the trap was Steve Thomas, your old teammate, is born in England. He scored 421 now, see, goals. I would guess. I was on Stumpy's train there for a right. second, and then I, 
And always the Englishman, and so that was not going to be it. So he scored 421. Owen Nolan at 422. Born in Belfast. Dante Fabro in shoots. That's blocked. Both of them could shoot. Both of them could, could do that out pretty good. Now you knew Nolan was tough. People didn't always know that Steve Thomas was tough. They found out the hard way. I told you I almost killed him one night with my skull. <laughs> Punched me about 132 times. I didn't realize he was the heavyweight or the middleweight champ of the league. It was our first year. I'm like, oh, he's my size. How bad could that be? <laughs> about halfway out of it, I felt like I was in a snowstorm. He must have been exhausted. Never good when you finish third, is it? No, one of one of my favorite lines ever though after that fight, I was I got my couple teeth chipped in it. The dentist was looking at it, looking at me, and Dave Babbage came in, and my teammate with the Whalers, and he said, uh, hey, Thomas is outside. He wants to talk to you. I said, what's he doing there? He goes, he wants to know if you're okay. He thought he killed you. <laughs> but thanks, Babs. Here who else is born in England, old coach of yours, Jack what? Evans. Oh, I didn't know that. Now, Tex. why is he nicknamed Tex? I, mean, I don't know. I'm guessing because he was tough. He was. He looked. So Jack oh, Evans, born yeah. in England. I guess Canada's going to the power play here as Tyson Jost is hooked up in the zone. Ben O'Connor goes off. Started the year in Sweden, returned to Sheffield midway through the year. Spent two years in the OHL with Windsor and Mississauga. Kyle Turris had an assist out of the Dante Fabro goal, so he's got three points for that as well. Stone across to Stetcher. There's McCann, the shot that goes wide. Stone back to Theodore. To McCann that bounced off his stick. And it's scooped up by Lankowitz. Lankowitz who plays for the Nottingham Panthers in the Elite International Hockey League, or sorry, Elite Ice Hockey League. As that go up and out. Born in Nottingham, grew up there. In his 12th season with them. Just watching the game six up, but the people are still up here and they're dancing around. Right. The scores become irrelevant at, at some time. We see this all the time, though. We saw, from, you know, remember the Hungary fans two years ago? They'd sing their players the national anthem after the game. Last year, the, the scene in not just at the World Championship, in the Olympics in Pyeongchang, when the Koreans bowed to the fans and bowed to their coach Jim Pack at the end of the tournament. That that was pretty amazing. It's easy to look down your nose at, at these teams that you know get promoted and struggle and everything else, but. This is such a huge moment for them. They will literally tell their kids and their grandkids that they played against these players. Severson drops it back to Marcheseau. The lead pass just missed Evan Mosey. I mean, imagine if Canada made the last 16 of the World Cup of Soccer and got to play Brazil or Germany or whoever powerhouse you want to pick. Fabro swings it across. Severson shoots, bounce, makes the stop, reaches back, and is able to keep that out. Severson really walked into this. And bounds made one stop, and it was bouncing around in front of him and couldn't really find it. And Fabro puts it on the tee. Severson can really shoot it. It hits the pad. Now Bounds can't quite find it. It hits his defenseman Richardson and comes flying right back towards him. Fortunately for him, it. Hits bounds in the pad and stays out. You'll see the puck come right back and rattle around in the five hole before he can sit on it. Off the face off. The tourist got an it. errant stick or clipped a little bit. Stays on as Couturier picks it up. Swings that rink wide for Mantha. For the trailer, Shabbat walking in. Thomas Shabbat feeds it back in front, goes off a stick and wide. Shabbat. 
Now to Mantha, shoots, bounds a save. And the rebound score. Sean Couturier banks that in. And it's 7 to nothing. One second remaining in that power play, and the Canadians will go straight to center ice. They won't fly by the bench anymore. Or go straight to the bench, rather. Couturier's first of the tournament on the power play. And Canada's trying to move the puck around as much as they can, and eventually they get the puck to the net, and it's too strong, and a worn out Great Britain defense can't handle Couturier. This puck bounces in off of David Phillips, I believe. Oh, yeah, off his stick, off his shin pad, just what you need, and it's now 7-0. Swindlehurst fires it down. And Carter Hart plays it around for Theodore. Up ahead to Tyson Jones working in. Jones pivots back and missing the one timer is Joseph. Joseph's pass picked off by Farmer. Bedridge comes working in on Henry. Matthew Joseph. Tied up by Lake. Long lead pass for Ben Lake missed. And icing called against Great Britain. Well, Lanvino is able to move Tyson Jost in and out of the lineup, up and around the lineup. The, the Brits have Given what they have here, the second of back-to-back -back nights, probably not the easiest to schedule to, to start with anyway, but they they ran themselves empty, I think, in that first period there. They'll look at their key games as being Denmark on Tuesday and France to close out the round robin a week from Monday. Chance the side of the goal for Tuesday just missed. Now, if you're going to stay in, those are the ones you've got to have. You've got to find points in those games. If you win one of them, you're in. For the most part, because if you finish tied with them, you have the tiebreaker head to head. You just got to hope they don't pick up a point somewhere else. Sorelli drops it back to McCann. Fans on that shot. Nurse back with it. Tomorrow, the U.S. plays Finland in the first game, followed by Canada and Slovakia. McCann feeds that down. Bertuzzi tipped that on goal. And Mark Stone knocks that free and finds Montour up for Marcheseau. Montour. That 7 nothing. Stone's coming right back through the middle of the ice, breaks up the play, and now he's on offense again. Such a good player. Centering pass for Stone, feeds it across, and Strome with a quick shot. The glove save made by Ben Bound. You're watching the 2019 World Hockey Championship from Kosice, Slovakia.
10-40 remaining here in the third period. Fired down to the Canadian zone and icing waved off as Shabbat. Got in a race there with Jonathan Phillips. O'Connor shoots and Carter Hart makes the stop on him. A long time. Long time since Mantis or since Hart had to do anything. Makes a stop there. Anthony Mantis had a big night. Goal in the first period. Sweet feed to Kyle Turris in the second period. A gorgeous give and go to Turris here in the third. And then a rebound. He'll get credited with an assist here. A goal in three for Mantha. And five goals in seven games for Canada. The 2014 World Junior Championship in Sweden. Now in his fourth year with the Detroit Red Wings. Joes drops it off for Theodore. Ahead quickly for Turris. Turris drops for Mantha. Anthony Mantha feeds that around for Turris. Now Theodore a long shot. Bounds got a skate on that. Bed back across to Theodore. Turris snaps that pass rink wide for Fabro. Theodore long shot rebound score there's Bantha again that's five points and his second goal and Cannon leads eight nothing. I think that's going to be plenty for Ben Bounds here they're talking to Jackson whistle over on the on the bench. And Long shot, Mantha's standing in front of the net, and he's able to slide this around Bounds's right pad. Falls right to his feet, thank you very much, and an easy one for Mantha. The grandson of four-time Stanley Cup winner Andre Pronovo. Mantha was a prolific goal scorer in the Quebec League. Whistle is getting his mask on over at the bench. But apparently he'll come in on the next stoppage. Bouncing puck goes back down to Adam Henry. And Stetcher comes back. The play is called offside. At the Canadian line, you're watching the 2019 World Hockey Championship. In comes Whistle. Jackson Whistle for Great Britain, native of Kelowna, we mentioned, played five years in the Western League for the Vancouver Giants and Kelowna Rockets and got to the Memorial Cup with Kelowna in 2015. They went to the championship game of that tournament. He takes over from Ben Bounds. They lost in overtime to Oshawa. Anthony Sorelli, who's here for Canada, scored the overtime winner in that Memorial Cup final. Imagine you said to them four years ago, you guys will face each other at the World Championship. Sorelli will be there for Team Canada. Jackson, you'll be there for Great Britain. He spent the last three years playing there. His dad, David, was the Belfast Giants' first head coach. Played some goal handful of games for the Wheat Kings and also at Brandon University. Pretty cool. In comes Lake. As 
Taken away by Henrique. Bounds, by the way, allows eight goals on 51 Canadian shots. Got a standing ovation for the British fans on his way off the ice. And that is British fans still standing, clapping, and cheering. Theodore. Plays it across and Strom shoots and a glove save made by Whistle. Plays for Sheffield Steelers in the Elite Ice Hockey League. 50 games this past year. Looking around the traffic in his first shot, he's able to catch and field cleanly. Montour. Down to Bertuzzi. Back to Brandon Montour. Across he goes for Shea Theodore. Rink wide pass to Strom. Now Montour. Buffalo defenseman works it back to Shea Theodore. On the Vegas Golden Knights in for Sam Reinhart. Leader of North Vancouver, BC. Strom with it. Into the corner for Theodore. And around for Montour. I think I misspoke. He's actually West Vancouver, isn't he? Yes, he is. Thank you. That's where Dad settled after. As he shoots, and Carter Hart makes the save on him. Three brothers that have played pro hockey, brother Griffin and Max. Yeah, Paul was a Long-time NHL defenseman. Here, Canada, you gave us Drake, Bieber, Point Adams. We gave you ice hockey. <laughs> Couturier with it. You mentioned Britain is one of the founding nations of the International Ice Hockey Federation. Sharp angle shot is stopped by Hart off the stick of Brett Perlini. I've always wondered when a goalie goes eons without a shot, oh. does he want one or does he not want any anymore? Like after a while, like he's Hart's had four shots in the first, two in the second, three in the third. Anthony Mantha, by the way, has pulled into a tie for the tournament point lead with five. Capo Kako, Philip Ronick, Kubalik from the Czech Republic, and Kucherov from Russia. So All that's five Phil points. That's Philip Ronick from yeah. Detroit. Yeah. Anthony Mantha from Detroit. Yeah. Maybe they weren't left in as bad a shape as some people thought. Fabro drops it back for Sorelli. That shot tipped right on, and whistle knocks that away. The tip by Mantha. Joe's with it. Trying to center it. That was blocked by Swindlehurst. Then played back out. Much tougher test for Canada tomorrow. Energized Slovak team that has its delirious home crowd behind it. Just watching Tyson Jost. I think he's. Played pretty well today, relatively energetically. He'll be around 10 or 11 minutes, and I'm curious how he feels tomorrow. Yeah, he might be a little exhausted tomorrow. Got two assists so far tonight. Just after 10:15 local time here, one wish a happy Mother's Day to everyone back home. My mom Florence in Edmonton, and Sarah in Toronto, mother of Blair. Yeah, this is a great day. It's, a, it's nice to be home if you can. Comes Jared McCann with it. So I get my chance to wish Cammy a happy Mother's Day. I travel a lot. And she's uh, she does an amazing job with our boys. And you. Oh, that she deserves a medal for, not just Mother's Day or, or Wife's Day. <laughs> Anniversary doesn't quite cut it. Blackwoods had that pass knocked away by Reinhardt.
team with five points in a game was Patrick Sharp against France in 2012. The game record is six. Eric Lindroth did it twice at the 1993 tournament in Munich. 4.50 to go here in the third period. Canada leads 8-0. Slava Slovakia for the 2019 World Hockey Championship. We welcome you wherever you're looking in on this Sunday, the third of three here in this rink today. Kateri feeds it back across and just missed that pass for Sorelli. Still 1 1 in Bratislava between Latvia and Switzerland. The Swiss have outshot them 32 to 16. In goal for Latvia is Elvis Berzlikens. And <laughs> with all the talk about Columbus going all in and letting Sergei Bobrovsky leave as a free agent, it seems most likely. One of the reasons they felt a little bit comfort there is Elvis Merzlikens is one heck of a prospect. That guy is, he's an NHL ready goalie. Babro shoots and whistle makes the stop. Brilliant in last year's tournament. Dante Fabro's had a good night. He's scored late in the second period. He was plus four after a couple of periods and he seems to be for me anyway as Sorelli chips that one wide one of those players that's a depth guy at the start of the tournament and then pushes his way up the lineup starts as the seventh guy then he's the sixth guy and pretty soon he's in your top four or maybe your top five turn pro this year after his third year at Boston University he was the captain at BU this year Reinhardt with it. Back at the point for Severson across. He goes to Stetcher. Bertuzzi tees it up, and that was blocked by Billingsley. Down with it. Across to Lee. Lee shoots that's off a skating line. Side three to go here in the third period. Britain will have Denmark on Tuesday, then the U.S. Wednesday, Finland Friday, Slovak Saturday, France on Monday. And you get four points somewhere out of that. It's a tall order. You know, the other teams are thinking the same thing, right? right. It's like the, these are the focused in games. So the worst thing that happened for Great Britain was Denmark and France going to overtime in the opener for them. They each got a point, at least. Of course, Denmark won it in a shootout. Drop back to McCann, feeds across, and Joseph goes off the outside of the net. Inside two to go here in the third period. And 
Martha up ahead for Shabon. Thomas Shabon working in shoot short side that was off the side of the goal frame. In comes Davies for it. Ben Davies stripped by Stetcher races back the other way. Up for Bertuzzi. To Shabbat. Winds and shoots and whistle got a glove on that. Buck bounces in behind the goal. And comes Reinhardt with it. British players said their fans have been unbelievable traveling with them. They, a lot of them went to Budapest last year for the Division 1A. They've been terrific here tonight. And they'll finish on the power play. And Sorelli goes to the box for Canada. Sorelli a high stick as he turns and flips the British defenseman. And Another guy you talk about Tampa getting guys late. Sorelli a third round pick and 19 goals this year. Here comes Ferraro with a chance. Sharp angle shot up the outside of the goal. Farmer chips that down and Carter Hart hangs on to that. Farmer was the hero for Britain, scored that goal to tie it up with 15 seconds left against Hungary. They've been terrific. Draw picked out by Nurse. And Canada goes to one and one in the tournament with an 8-0 win over Britain, which falls to 0-2. Next stop for Canada tomorrow against Slovakia. Great Britain will play Denmark. On Tuesday, we'll stay for the player of the game presentations and the Canadian national anthem. Final shots were 56 to 12 in favor of Canada. As Great Britain returns to the top division of the World Championship for the first time since 1994. And the second game, you knew it would be tough. It was going to be tough anyway. And they gave what they had early. Great Britain did. Canada just too much. And for the Canadians, uh, some good nights for Anthony Mantha and Kyle Turris in particular. And they threw an eight spot on the board. And now the player of the game presentations for Canada and Great Britain. championship game held by Eric Lindros.
Like Stone must know one of the, that's Earhart, right? He would know Earhart from Brandon. Oh, right, right. Oh, we should have put that together. Yeah, shoot. Crud. Crap. Earhart hardly played, though. That's the problem. Yeah. So it's fine. Here we go. After an opening game loss to Finland, Canada needed a confidence booster and got one against Great Britain. We talked before the game about how the United States scored one goal in their opener and then they got seven against France. Well, Canada does the same thing. They score one goal in their opening game, a loss, a disappointing game, and then they play Great Britain and you would expect them to win. They scored early, they scored often. Anthony Mantha and Kyle Turris in particular had great evenings. Uh, Mantha, two goals and three assists. And Turris a goal and a couple assists. That line seems to be pretty comfortable together. So all in all, a game they should win, a game they won comfortably, and some real nice offensive performances. And help arrives as well. Tyson Joes gets a couple of assists just off the plane from North America. And Pierre Dubois is here as well as Canada gets set to take on Slovakia, the host team, on Monday. Good night, everybody. sentiment coming into this game was that Great Britain felt honored to play Canada. Did that lead to being overwhelmed or perhaps starstruck when it came down to puck drop? Uh, I, I don't say starstruck or anything, no. I mean, when you're the uh, Tusker, I don't know how good they are. I mean, what can you say? It's 20 on NHL is and uh, playing against a bunch of Brits. So, I mean, we started for it where it was fun, but I mean, no, maybe we, we give them slightly too much respect at times. And when you come up against guys like this, I mean, yeah, you got to give them respect, but maybe we give them a little bit too much. And uh, at the end of the day, they're, they're just a team, and uh, the, the game's the same every game. You just got to score more goals in, and uh, no matter who you against, I think, yeah, maybe it worked against us a little bit in our minds, but I wouldn't say they were, they were starstruck, really. Despite the scoreline, it may be deceiving, but you really stood your ground. Did you feel confident in terms of being able to track the puck well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I trained with, um, with guys this caliber over in Calgary uh, for a few summers in a row now, so kind of knew what to expect, what to also expect in terms of releases and stuff like that. They're obviously uh, a lot higher caliber than, than what I'm used to. But I knew I'm a big goalie, so I knew if I took my um, took my ice and uh, the hell, a lot hit me. When it comes to this tournament, is it important to have a short memory knowing that there is a new opponent just the next day in Denmark? Yeah, exactly. It's a seven game uh, it's a seven game um, tournament for us where we're building each game and uh, we got the we got the games target that we want to win uh, and what we think we need to do to stay up and uh, this is another building block on the way. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you. A multi-point night for you, earning MVP honors. What was clicking so well for you in your line? I don't know. I think uh, the chemistry was there since day one, and tonight everything just clicked. The bounces were on our side, so let's keep that going for the rest of the tournament. Considering the 
importance of goal differential in terms of the standings in the group. Was that in the back of your mind at all when it came to piling on offense? Not at all. Uh, now that you're mentioning it, we're, I'm thinking about it, but before it was just to play a good game, and uh, we, we did exactly that. Tomorrow you'll take on Slovakia, the host team. They have a very passionate and rowdy crowd. How much are you looking forward to embracing that moment? I was talking to a teammate of mine from Detroit, uh, Dylan Larkin, and he was saying uh, it was unbelievable. So I can't wait to hear it, and uh, hopefully we play as good as tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 